Hi, we're going to do a small exercise uh, use looking at um, kind of simulating uh, the use of liquid light emulsion that you will have done in the dark room. Um, the process is kind of an inverted process, but you'll see how it works. It's quite straightforward. So basically, let's look at this um, document I have prepared. On the top layer here, I've got a splash layer. Um, and basically it's just a splash of paint. I've inverted it from black to white. That's Control i or Command-I on a Mac. Um, it doesn't matter which way around it is. We'll be playing with that in a moment, so that's not so important at this point. So all we're going to do is we're going to select all and copy that. And once we have it copied, turn it off or turn the eye off. Um, go across to your channels, create a new channel and paste paste in that splash into that new channel. Once you've pasted it in, you just go command or control on a PC, it's control click and on a Mac, it's command click. So control and click once. And you'll notice that the all the white area now becomes selected, little tiny crawling ants selecting it. Okay. So once you've done that, just go back to your, basically you're loading a selection when you're doing that. But once you've done it, go back to your layers. Click on your photograph and you'll see that it is indeed still there. It's, it's there, but there's no color in it or there's no black to white um, paint in it as yet. So all I'm going to do at this point is click once on the create layer mask icon. And basically the information gets transferred from the channel to your layer mask. OK, in effect, that's it. That's that is the whole process. But there's a lot that you can do with it from this point onwards. So, now that it's there, what's really going on here is that the black areas of the layer mask are revealing the layer beneath. Okay, so just to prove that point, I'm going to duplicate that whole layer. I'm going to get rid of that layer mask on the bottom of the two photographic layers. I'll just say this one's called CC Inverted. Okay. And what I'll do is I'll just invert that, that's a control I. And I'll just show you, so that's that's the CC image just inverted there. There's the image above it, the image beneath. Okay, so if I put that on and put the other one on, on above it, the layer mask is revealing the inverted image beneath. Of course, you could have any image beneath, any color, an additional layer of splash. So, for example, I could have that beneath, turn that on. And let's say I just took that splash and just shifted it slightly. Perhaps just, I'm just nudging it slightly just to kind of give it that impression of having a little bit of volume, like a shadow around it. Anyway, as I said before, there's lots to do. You can, you know, you can really experiment with this. So the process is really straightforward. Um, you should have no problem doing it. Just be careful that when you're in the channel and you're, you're transferring the information from the alpha, from the alpha in the channels back to the alpha here. The secret is just to hold the click. Uh, hold the control button and click it once. That's all you've got to do. On a Mac, it's hold the command button and click. Well, that's all you've got to do. Um, so very quickly, very easily, you've got a nice and interesting combination of what is an analog thing, a splashed paint, and your photograph. Um, what happens if I reverse this, um, so invert that black to white layer? I'm left with that which is just the same process that you would have done in the dark room many times just using the liquid emulsion. Okay, that's it. I just want you to have a go with it. Experiment, layer one image over another. So, for example, I've come across to this one. Um, it's the same. I've got the same thing going on here. I've got an image. What happens if I turn that off? And so... All I'm using at the moment, that's just a frame. 
that's just a splash that's another splash that I've got what I'll do is I'll load these splashes I'll load these documents into the resource folder and you can therefore get access to the splashes as well okay that should do it have a bit of fun with that and see what you can